Hey guys, and welcome to Elden Ring with me, Townsend. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So I figured we'd try and do something new on the channel. Uh, I have not played a game like Elden Ring. These are, <laughs> what would you say, very frustrating games, difficult games. Um, but I've been watching a lot of them on YouTube, and it's like, this is a game I think I'd have fun with, possibly. Um, also, if it causes me to lose my temper, well, that would be a first. On the channel at least <laughs> we are in the character select screen so every character obviously has a different setup um apparently it does not matter which one you choose more or less it's just you're choosing or your beginning stats so like if you choose the wrong one like you astrologer here is more or less like mage if you don't like to be a mage um you can uh what would you say remaster rebirth whatever later on and repick skills so that you're no longer a mage but you could be a warrior or a vanguard we are going to start with confessor because i have played a little bit of it a little bit of the game and so far i do like the confessor the most out of all of them uh you also get to pick a keepsake at the very beginning uh there's multiple different ones that you can pick from uh we are going to pick the golden seed as it'll help us in the future to get us more flasks like uh, mana and health potions so we'll load our favorite body type right there. Done, nice and quick and easy. Finished. Let's get into the game. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So as a confessor, we start off. With, the confessor is kind of like a paladin, uh, more or less. So as you guys can see here, we start off with a shield, sword, and then we have two different spells we can cast, which is Assassin's Approach and Urgent Heal, and then we have a secondary. I wouldn't say weapon, but this is what helps cast those spells. We, uh, let's see. what Can we actually see what that is? Equipment. Yeah. Uh, this is a finger seal. Sorry. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, that's more or less what I wanted to start with was a paladin because I like to cast. Um, I usually like long range characters, but uh, the mage wasn't too bad. It's just that you ran out of mana quite often and even though like there's potions and stuff like that i figured let's let's start with the paladin if we need to shift to mage later on we can definitely do that oh also just so you guys know i am playing on pc but i am using uh, an xbox controller and i really haven't used a controller in a long time so <laughs> be prepared for that so this guy we pretty much you can kill him if you're good enough I'm definitely not good enough to kill him. And I should probably lock on if anything. I'm gonna try and fight him. You are just supposed to die to this character, but why don't we get a couple of hits in there, right? <laughs> but here's the starting area. So I do have something to say right off the bat. If anybody's watching and they know how to get that little uh, shard up there so that light means that there's something there that we can pick up um please tell me in the comments down below how we can get it because i honestly don't know how to get up there i've tried multiple different times can't figure it out so there's got to be a way to do it uh we can talk to this guy grave tarnish take the plunge uh recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood sorry i kind of sped through that a little bit we will go through this real quickly. Um, so there's these uh, grace sites all over the place. They're kind of like little save points. Uh, so you, uh, I believe you have to rest at them to be, make it your reincarnation place or after you die, your resurrection spot. So. All right. Uh, I don't think we're going to go through all of them. Uh, guarding. Yeah, I really don't care too much about <laughs> learning everything, but this is the tutorial for all of the <clears throat> for all the buttons, all the movements. We're just going to move through it quickly because you do get, I think, around 900 runes, and that'll help us out uh, level up right off the bat here. Alright, this is the only guy that I usually have a little bit of problems with. And it's more than likely, it's mostly just due to having to get him to break his shield. You 
need him to kind of swing at us first. Okay, well, you're supposed to swing and miss. <laughs> of course. Eventually, there we go. And if you just want to, you can brute force the shield out of the way. Just keep hitting it until he drops his guard. Now, there is a. L this game is quite in depth. Um. With the, the attacks, the abilities, all that good stuff. Uh... So there's that, like a stagger where, what is it? You kind of make the, the enemy trip almost, like they stumble backwards. And that's from heavy hits. I guess I could have used a heavy hit. Probably could have used a heavy hit with the guy with the shield. Alright, let's just sneak up behind this guy. There you go. Sneak attacks are like, do some serious damage, so it's always nice if you can sneak up behind these guys. You know, and the animation's super cool too. Alright, we're almost through the cave. I was supposed to jump attack, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> like, I make my own rules. So this is another type of respawn point when you do die. Um, you can choose whether or not to respawn here or at your last gra grace site. I'm going to say your last grave site, but... So this guy can... Obviously, this is the very beginnings, but this guy can be kind of a... Uh, Difficult right off the bat. You just have to really. I guess this guy kind of teaches you how to get your dodges down. Like how to really start dodging in the game. Because he has quite a few stronger, faster attacks too. And then you come up here. And you get this new stance. Now there is these blood stains on the ground. You can read. Actually, no, sorry. The the blood uh, blood pools show people doing stuff. I don't know if it's other players or what. All right. But either way, I know these. I think are written by other players or can be written by other players. And they're scattered throughout the throughout the world also. Like, good thing there's nothing chasing us, because opening that door took forever. So as you guys can see, we're at half health there in the top left corner. We just found another grace site, so I will actually sit down real quickly. So, um, sitting down and resting at a grace site. You can see there's all, all these other things. There's pastime, flasks, memorized spells, a sort chest. So, there is a, a chest inside the grace site so you can store stuff in. As you can see, just to the right. And then, memorized spells, we don't have enough room but uh we have these two spells that we can memorize right now but you guys can see down in the bottom left there there's a lot more spots we just need to open those up with i think they're called memory memory shards i'd have that wrong and then flasks you can change a bunch of stuff here but allocating flask uh flasks is very important depending on the class you are playing so we are three health one mana but you can go three mana one health or whatever, whatever works for you guys and whatever class you're playing. All right, moving on. We'll pick this up. Okay. So the things we're picking up right now, like that, uh, that we just picked up there, helps to summon people to your, uh, to your game. So you, it is a co-op. Once, mm, I guess technically it's multiplayer because it's multiple players. It's just not one. But uh, yeah, you can you can summon your friends to come play with you. And there we go. Out in the real world. So anyways, here's the open world. Now this is kind of like Skyrim, where if you can see it, you can probably get to it. So that mountain way above, right above my head there. Uh, anywhere on top there, we, we can probably get to it. Uh, like I said, I have played this a little bit. I have not done... Not even close to doing a walkthrough on it or a playthrough on it. Uh, so, 
everything's going to be pretty new to me after we get out of our first initial starting area here. Just going to rest real quick. I don't know why. Just thought about it. Of any. Yep. Oh, this is just talking about maps and stuff like that. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come so this is kind of our first... Elden Ring. Mm, I wouldn't even say quest giver. He just kind of you sets you on your path. He's telling us to go to the castle it. directly behind us. Or right, right behind you. him. However, without guidance, without you are fated. So every without NPC you, also has however, multiple... One uh, what would hope. you say? Interactions? The so when you do run into an NPC, me. exhaust... Vare. Uh, exhaust their conversations. You may also that. Hmm. So his exhaust even if it... eventually when he tells us to go to the mountain up there or to the, the castle which we can just move on because I know where he's going to send us. So small effigy that's once again for summoning friends. We're going to avoid the guy in the right there that's riding around on a horse. And for those that don't know, there is night and day cycles. So during the day, things will be, you know, different than what they are at night sometimes. Depending on the area you're in, you're, you're in um, things do show up during the night. So during the night around here, you can see these guys nailed to the these posts here. They actually moan and groan during the night, which is... You know, interesting. Nice little touch. We'll go over here. Go here, strengthening armaments. We'll get smithing stone. Uh, we'll talk to this guy. He's a little NPC. You're tarnished, and I can also see that you're not after my throat. Not yet. Then why am Carly? So more or less, we can purchase and sell stuff from him, or sell stuff to him. We're gonna grab this, and we need a lot more. Bye, Kali. I will be back. I can promise you that. So it is open world, but there is not a linear quest line, I guess you'd say, or you know, this is the way you're going. So this game kind of pushes you to explore, because you'll run into bosses that you can't fight or you can't beat. It just means that you need to explore more. You need to get stronger. Um, and better at the game, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, the, the very when I first started playing this, I was messing around, and I found a path that took me to an area where I shouldn't have been at all. Like it kind of feels like it was should have been late game. All right, so now we're gonna head over this way. We're gonna go get our mount. Uh, I will be so this little town or encampment here. Uh, I will be doing a little bit of grinding in here. I will, or farming. We need to get, there's a couple of items that drop from the guys and it takes, uh, it can take up to 15 minutes to, to find it. But the nice thing about the game also, I know I just keep saying stuff like that, but, uh, so you can go in here, wipe out that whole town and the guys won't respawn. The moment you rest at a grace site, they'll respawn, like everything respawns. So here's Have where we get the horse. The finger maidens. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role <clears throat> of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only he talks to a lot, with you but to the foot of the Erd Tree. He is very helpful, so and she gives us. Our mount. Summon me by grace. And she is the to one that helps you level up. Ah, another map. I bequeath to you this. Use it to traverse. It will summon a spectral torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. All right. <clears throat> there we go. So instead of using torrent, which we will in just a second, I just want to fast travel. Because there's an NPC here that only shows up during the night. This there she is. Tarnished. May I have a word? A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. 
Thou art possessed of the power, no? Interesting. Call forth a spectral steed named Look at her face. There's two faces there. One ghostly and one non-ghostly, right? Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's I wonder if that's master. why she has four hands. Hmm. Tis a bell of course. Summon them with it. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly. Now it is thine. To I'm just gonna run around here a little bit. I just wanna bust these. <laughs> uh, skulls open because they dropped the golden runes. Now golden runes, you can smash pretty much on yourself and then... They give you actual runes, or they give you runes, but if you don't use them, they stay in your inventory, and then you don't have to worry about losing your runes. Because if you die, you need to get back to where you did, uh, where you died, in order to recover all of your runes. You have everything else, all of your inventory, you know, all your weapons and stuff like that, but you your runes drop on the ground, and runes are money, experience. Pretty much everything for you. But as you guys can see, everybody respawned. We'll head up this way. I know there's a cave just over here. Okay, whatever. There's a cave over here that uh, you can, instead of purchasing cracked pots, you can actually, it actually dropped inside the, uh, the cave. Uh, and there is a mini boss that I've never actually beat, but hey, maybe today's the day. If not, well, you guys get to see me die a couple of times. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go here. Really quickly, we'll see if we can level up, because I'd rather not lose the runes that we have. So we have 745 runes. And we require 829 in order to level up once. So each... So, from what I've seen, these three, Vigor, Mind, and Endurance, are like your base stats. Those are the ones that are kind of important. Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Faith, and Arcane. Those are based on what your build is. So, obviously we're uh, kind of Paladin here, so I know a lot of our skills are going to be Faith-based. And... I'm not 100% sure about arcane or intelligence on that part, but uh, we'll probably be doing a lot of vigor. Mind is FP, so your mana. Oh, sorry, vigor is HP. Mind is FP. And uh, endurance is stamina and max equipment load. So the more more stuff you carry with you, or the more stuff you're yeah, having your inventory, the heavier you get, and the heavier you get, the slower you actually move. Uh... Let's just examine that. Summoning pool so we can jump back here real quick if required, if needed, which will be needed. I'm sorry it's so dark. I should have purchased a torch. Now, how do I want to do this? We'll go down this way because there's a wolf right in front of us here. Come get it. I oh. You do need to be careful because stuff will just jump out from anywhere. Uh, in this this cave is not too bad, but uh, yeah, they have enemies hiding everywhere. Like. You walk into a room and one's kind of like hiding in the corner directly by the door. So you won't even notice it and it's directly behind you, or yeah, right at your back. And then all of a sudden you're kind of playing a catch up game with them. Okay, so there's a cracked mana pot or a cracked pot. Okay. So this is, whenever you see a room like this, Usually means you're just about to go into a boss's room. So we're just going to drink before we walk in. Um, and then we will summon the moment we get in there. So we kind of... The wolves aren't super strong. But they're going to cause the NPC to actually lock on it. 
not, I guess, stop walking onto us. There's, you know, kind of like 300, the Greeks. They just the brawl. Uh, kind of brawlers, and they just kind of cause <laughs> a bunch of issues. Sweet. First time I've ever killed them. <laughs> okay. Flame Drake Talisman. Uh, and a thousand runes. Okay. Uh, if if the audio is loud, you guys, um, I will fix it. Boost fire damage negation. Can't use it. Why is that? Or maybe you can't use it from here. Equipment. This is where talismans go. There we go. I honestly, and that's the thing too with this game, like you can find oh, pretty much end game um, weapons fairly quickly. Like if you know, if you played done a playthrough in this before and you know where your good stuff is hiding, you can run directly there. Um, and you only have to fight the guys that you want to fight. Obviously there's some, some things that get in your way, but uh, for the most part, you can just run directly to wherever you want to go. That was awesome though. Like. I honestly thought we'd probably die a couple of times from him because I played a mage before and yeah, I died a few times and finally just gave up on him. But like this, we are kind of squishy right at the very beginning. So vigor. Wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's do it. We'll go with two into vigor. We went from 414 HP to 455. That's super great, but it's not bad. Uh, and we've used our rune, so we don't really have to worry about uh, losing too many if we if we die, right? Uh, who knows, maybe this one just obliterates us a couple of times. But yeah, don't be afraid to search throughout the game. Just There is no set path. You can go wherever you want. Um... Obviously, you'll be able to figure out if you're in a place you're not supposed to be in. Because things will just one-shot you, or... Everything will just become super, 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 super difficult. Okay, dot, dot, dot. A proper death means return to the Erd tree. I forgot. Have patience until a time comes and the roots call to you. Okay, so... I'm gonna lock onto a character here. Or... There's a guy right in front of us. If I can get... Okay, so you can see the little dot in the center of the screen there. That's a guy there. What I was talking about earlier where they have things just hiding around the corner. You see him just standing there? So you'd not naturally just walk in and start attacking this guy. But this is the guy that you actually have to worry about. I don't know how to... There we go. Oops. There we go. So this guy's just ranged where the other guy is all about melee attacks. And he, you can see that bar going down on my screen. That is a bleed attack. So if he would have filled that, filled that up, he would have dealt a lot of damage to me. He, would, he actually did do quite a bit of damage to me, but... I'm in no rush to actually fight them. They might follow us down here. There's one on the wall right here that we got to watch out for. No. <clears throat> Locking in on this game is a little difficult for me, so I might have to change the, the key bindings for that. Okay, go, 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 go. And go, 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 go. So if you're an archer or something like that, it's, those things are so easy to deal with. For me, on the other hand, not so much. We don't have a ranged attack at the moment. Another one right there. I'm trying to think, do I even need to go all the way down to the end there? I honestly don't think so. Oh, we're gonna take some damage here. That was bad. Uh, I was trying to remember, is there a summon there? I don't think so. Alright, I'll show you guys anyways. This room's fairly deadly. Oh, 
what you can do. We just have to time this pretty close. Drink, man. Drink. <gasps> yeah, I think we killed everybody. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, they're all dead. Not getting anything special from them. <laughs> Come out here. I have a feeling there's uh, another guy in that room that I need to worry about. I was right. Oof. Okay. My dodge game is not on point. <laughs> so this was another reason why I, I like the paladin. Or I kind of chose to be paladin. There we go. There's our another, uh, another summons for us. I haven't actually used these guys, but... Um, definitely, at least we have it, right? But, <clears throat> yeah, because we have all our flasks. Oops, not our flasks. But, uh, we have our health potions. And then, uh, after our health potions, we have our ability, too. So, there's a guy here somewhere. Oh, it's kind of cheaty, because I know how this little spot plays out. But very soon... We'll get into areas that I don't have a clue what's happening, what's going on. And then I'm going to die over and over and over and over. But until that point. But I do want to go through those doors. I can't remember. I don't think there's a... Hopefully, we should be able to summon our wolves in here. Yes, we can. Puppies aren't doing their job. Oh, rolled a little too early. Ooh. I'm taking a beating here. Yeah, I think we're gonna die here, you guys. I kind of feel like I evaded that. I think that's a little bit of a lie. Maybe though. All you need is blockers anyway, so. Or. Thanks to cause issues, right? that attack. You think I could dodge? You know, use the dodge key. Or even just block, right? Okay. If you're anything like me, oops. You like to spam the attack key. That doesn't work here. If you spam the attack key. Oh, come on. <laughs> Extra summons to have, right? 
So we just gotta watch him. And we should go with some heavy attacks. Okay, back up. Wait it out. Wait it out. Oh, wait it out. I didn't wait. But yeah, <laughs> Noble Sorcer Sorcerer Ashes. Okay. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. If you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.